no point in beating yourself up for procrastination and there's absolutely no point in being overwhelmed at a large task just just start just just start doing it and see how much you can get done All right that's Hey, it's Greg here with MaritimeGardening.com and uh, I thought I would do a, <laughs> a garden cleanup type video. Uh, this section of my garden, there's, I'm actually standing in a walking path and I've got uh, a pumpkin growing in it, or not a pumpkin, a squash, and an incredible amount of weeds growing in it as well. And you know, garden maintenance, weeds, stuff like that, uh, probably among the number one things I hear from people that uh, don't have a garden or uh, you know are intimidated or uh, maybe get a degree of anxiety about keeping a garden they think how do you stay on top of all of that stuff um, for me it's it's not a big deal I mean this this place here is a mess and I haven't done anything here all summer long um, you know this was neat and tidy back in May I did some of those a number of years ago they haven't even pushed through the soil yet and, uh, and I've had problems with them from day one Whereas these direct seeded ones, just... and then over the course of uh, June, July, August, it's just gone to hell in a handbasket, and I've done nothing, nothing here. Uh, I don't know why, I just didn't. So uh, today I'm going to clean it up, and it's really not a big deal. Uh, it won't take long, and all of this stuff is actually just mulch waiting to be mulched. It's just a question of uh, just a question of when. So all the stuff's going to go in a wheelbarrow. It's going to be taken away. I'll throw it on my lawn and I'll shred it up with a lawnmower and put it back on one of my garden beds. But uh, first things first, I get to get it all out of the way. And uh, I got some gloves here. They don't, I had two matching gloves. I brought them out here when I was getting set up to film this video and I don't know where the heck I put them. Um, you gotta wear gloves when you're doing stuff like that for number one, because I've got wild roses in here which have thorns, but also a lot of different kinds of bees and wasps and things like that will, will spend the night in the foliage of these plants. And uh, you don't want to grab a handful of bees. <laughs> so let's get started and let me walk you through my process. Um, right here I've got a bed, which uh, there's a rose, but this has um, lingonberries growing in it, some of them. And uh, next to this bed, just over there a little bit, there's a squash bed. And this squash plant has grown into it. And uh, it's still producing squash. I got a nice one here, right? Uh, so I want to leave it alone. So, you know, I'm going to work this way as much as I can, uh, ex except insofar as it damages the squash. I want to leave the squash alone for now. Uh, so, step one for me is just making a line. <coughs> Now most of the weeds here are actually this sort of viney plant. Look at the long, and it, it came in from the woods over there, right? I have a lot of plants like that. They sort of, they go across the surface of the soil and they just colonize. Here I've got a rose of some kind. A lot of roses here, a lot of wild roses. This is all stuff that just, now this is actually blackberry. I don't want that in my walking path. Another reason I've not been working out in the garden too much, doing anything hard, is that I, I hurt my back a number of months ago. Well, a number of weeks ago, actually. I'm digging clams in PEI. And uh, it's not that I haven't been able to do stuff, it's just, my back's been bothering me, and uh, my back's kind of been telling me to to have that uh, have that extra beer <laughs> and take it easy. Uh, so uh, that's not a hard argument. That's not too hard to twist my uh, twist my rubber arm, as they say. There we go. I'm trying to get all this stuff out of here without damaging the squash. I don't want to go too far. There we go. Uh, another thing that's really underrated 
with the no-till garden is just how easily weeds come out, right? I mean, they, they pull out roots and all, no problem, 99% of the time. All right, now we've got that part done. Really should have stayed on top of these, but oh well. I mean, there's no point in there's no point in beating yourself up for procrastination, and there's absolutely no point in being overwhelmed at a large task. Just, just start. Just, just start doing it and see how much you can get done. All right? That's the approach I like to take, and. Uh, Look, if you can't get it all done in one day, then uh, do some later, <laughs> right? I mean, my back, I've woken up with back pain every day this week. So I, this is stuff I'd planned to come out in the garden after work and do. But every day when I get home, my back has just been, this hasn't felt right. I haven't felt like doing stuff like this, so I haven't. But today my back feels good, so I thought I'd come out and just see what I could get done. I got a lot of work to do in my garden, a lot. And by work I mean things to pick, right? I got to pick all my potatoes and you know, I got a lot of things like that that just need to get done. I mean, you can you can leave your potatoes in the garden. They don't, you know, it's not like cucumbers or tomatoes where they or peas where there's a Sort of a narrow two three day window where they have to be picked you can leave them in there um, but you do run the risk if you leave your potatoes you know if the, if the plant if the potato tops the plant is dead um, you do run the risk of uh, that plant being yeah holy smokes uh, that plant being attacked by something right yeah um, something boring a hole into it and just uh, compromising it such that it won't keep well. I grow, and it doesn't matter if you only grow a handful, but I grow, try to grow all the potatoes I'll need for an entire year here. Um, I did it last year and uh, I took note of how many I grew last year and that's how many I grew this year. So hopefully I got enough to pull that stunt off again. This garden here is asparagus. I mean, they're still, still kind of growing, but really they're mostly done. Oop, I just pulled an asparagus by mistake. Oops. But I also got these darn uh, roses growing in with them. It's kind of a kind of a bother. It's another reason to uh, to do weeding and stuff like this. You know, as you're heading into fall, you know the plants are uh, they're done a lot of their growing, so you can be a bit rough with things and not worry so much about. What effect it's having. I mean, these asparagus have been growing since April, and uh, I mean, they're still doing a bit of growing, seems to me. Um, but really, they've they've done the bulk of what they need to do. So if I damage some of the foliage, you know, bother the plant a little bit while I'm straightening this area out. It's not the end of the world, right? Boy, that's one thorny rose bush. You know, half the reason I got so many uh, weeds in this little corner here because of all the all this foliage all these uh, uh, raspberries 
casting shade on the walking path. These sand walking paths are great for preventing weeds because they get really hot and the weed seeds just bake in the sun, really can't germinate properly and lose their viability. Um, but if it's kept nice and shady and it's hot, like in the summer, then the conditions can be such that certain kinds of weeds can, can get established, which is what I got going on here. Anyway, not the end of the world. Boy, that's in there. <clears throat> what a monster. That's the, uh, how many people have roses as a weed in their garden? I do, the multiflora, multiflora variety of rose. All right, so I think, I'm just gonna bend that in there. I think that's just about all we can do. Boy, there's bees everywhere here. I think it would make sense to take a rake to this just to make sure we get everything. All right, yeah, this is just a way of seeing if there's anything that didn't come out like that one there. Pulling a rake over all of it. If there's any root I didn't get out, I mean, the roots come out of this stuff no problem. I mean, it's extremely loose, all right? There's there's sand, maybe about three, four inches of sand. Underneath that, there is soil, but it's, you know, I had these walking paths mulched, uh, mulched with wood chips for a good number of years before I switched to using sand as a mulch. So the soil underneath the sand is very soft, uh, despite the fact that I'm walking on it all the time. And I know that because whenever I go to pull a, pull a weed out of it, it just comes right out, no problem. All right. I think that's good enough to throw on there. There. That'll do for now. It's supposed to get hot and sunny today, so I'll just let that bake in the sun a little bit. Hopefully some sun gets in here. <laughs> I'll have to deal with some of this excess foliage here, but I basically just bend that back in, right? Anything you don't want out here, you bend back in. Let me show you that. Let me show you what I'm doing there. All right, so I got all kinds of weeds I don't want right here. And some of them are going in the walkway. You know, pull those, of course. And everything else, I'm just pushing back in. I mean, it's, it's all, if you think about it, it's all mulch, right? Just begging to be mulch. So, and there's lots of different techniques for weeding. I think so much of our concept of gardening is, is dominated by what we see people doing on TV. And so much of that is based on trying to sell you stuff. <laughs> right? I just want the weed out of my walking path. When these uh, raspberries are, are done being raspberries for the year, you know, I'll just cut them all down and mulch the entire bed. Everything that's growing here is just gonna be covered in mulch. So I don't really need to think about it too much other than I want this I want this stuff out of my walking paths because I don't want weeds in my walking paths. And that's what I just did. All right, and how long did that take? Not long at all. So there, how hard was that? From a total mess to basically uh, a walking path again. All right, we got her all, all cleaned up and uh, didn't take long, right? So, uh, you know, I don't really know what the general theme of this video is other than cleaning up a big mess. But I guess also another theme is, is dealing with, you know, getting on in years and, and you know, your, your body not working the way you want it to. Um, you know, and, and every, we all have to work to our, our, our level of ability. And, uh, you know, if you have any injuries and things like that, you have to work around them. 
Um, for me, at this point in my life, um, still in reasonably good health, reasonably fit, uh, but I still have to work around uh, problems when they come up, right? Got a good morning, back feels good, I feel like I got my energy, uh, wasn't too hot, so I thought I'd come out and hit this thing hard, and, uh, you know, 15 minutes, I mean, this is a mess I've been staring at for two months, took 15 minutes. Uh, I'm, uh, I don't know how long it took, I, I don't really know how much time it went by while I was filming this, but it felt like 15 minutes. So that's not a very big deal. So I hope you found that interesting. If you did, please like, share, subscribe. Check out my podcast, MaritimeGardening.com, if you want to learn more and more gardening, hear from my interesting guests. And until next time, get out there, get at it, have fun in your garden, get your hands dirty. <laughs>